In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a practical and useful search bar here in Google Sheets. So here's the search bar that I've created. If I type in a keyword right here and press enter, it will return the data that matches my keyword. Let me try that again. There you have it. And one more. And there you go. So that's my search bar and I'm going to show you how I did this. So here in my spreadsheet, I have my search bar sheet and my data source. So this is our data source for our search bar. And in creating this search bar, we're going to be using a handful of functions. We have search, is number, and filter. So let's get started. That's equal sign. Start with your filter function. There we go. Select that. And for our range, we're going to our data source on our next sheet. So go ahead and select your data source right there, comma. Then the function is number. Open parentheses. Then the search function. There we go. Now we're going to go back to our search bar and select the cell where we're going to be inputting all our keywords. Then comma. And finally, our text to search, which is in our data source right here on this second column. There we have it. Now we're going to close that three times with three closing parentheses, one, two, and three. So that's our first parentheses for our search function, second parentheses for our is number function, and finally, our third closing parentheses for our filter function. If we press enter, here we have all the data in our search bar. If we put in our keyword right here, again, word save, press enter, there it is. It returns all the data that matches our search key. So let me explain how we did that. So in our formula, we have used three functions. We have the filter, is number, and search. Let's go to our data source and let me explain it right here. First off, we're going to start with the search function. So with the search function, it searches the text within a description. For this example, we are going to have the word save. And then it's going to return a number reflecting the position of that text. So if it doesn't find it, it's going to give us the value error. So let's start our search function right here. There we go. We're going to be searching for this word right here, comma. Then our text to search, which is this range right here. If we press enter, there we have it. It returns us a number because this one right here has the word save in it. If we drag, let me just put this in absolute reference, then drag our formula down. And you'll see that it has given us some numbers and some value errors if it doesn't have any match within our range. So that's our search function. Let's move on to the isNumber function. So the isNumber function returns a true value for each number and a false value for everything else, even errors. So let's go ahead and do that. We have isNumber, select it right here, select that range, and press enter. We have our autofill, which we're going to accept. And there we have it. Again, we have trues for the numbers and false for everything else, including errors. And finally, we have the filter function, which will refer to our whole data set right here. Let's start that function now. So we have filter, we have our whole data set right here, comma, and for the condition, it will only return us all the true values right here in our is number array. If we press enter, there we have it. It has now returned those three data that matches our keyword right here. And there you have it. And that's how we get the data that only matches the keywords that we put in our search bar. Now, let's say you put in a word that doesn't exist or that doesn't match anything on our data set. Let's try preserve. Now it's giving us the NA error. And if you don't want to see this NA error whenever you put in something that it cannot find, we're just going to add the if NA function right here, right before our filter function. 
There we go. That's our value, comma. And the value that we want it to return if it does show an error would be not found. So let me put those in quotations. There we have it. Press enter. And there you go. So now it doesn't give us the error, but gives us this text that tells you that whatever you're looking for is not found within the data set. And there you have it. So that's how to create your own practical and useful search bar here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.